Hello and welcome to the 13th uh, video tutorial in the series of video tutorials looking at working with Zmodeler. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at importing and exporting. First of all we'll look at importing. Obviously to import models correctly you need to have a registered version of Zmodeler. Once you've got that it's really easy to import a model into your Z modeler. These two buttons up here are the import and export, but import and export buttons. I'll put my teeth in sometime soon. This is the import button, that's the export button. So let's click the import button. <coughs> Excuse me. and browse for a model that you want to to look at or to use for example this, this instance I'll use the Mercedes Actros um, truck PMG so you click on that and then click import and there we have the Mercedes Actros Importing is really as simple as that. Importing is also useful for if you want to use <coughs> excuse me, parts of an existing model. Uh, say for example like I did with my truck. I used the chassis of the Mercedes Actros and just built the cab myself. That makes it much easier when getting things to scale and ensuring that things will work. And that is very basically how you import. Now let's look at exporting. Let's get rid of that. And now I'm going to open my truck model. Or rather I'm going to open my truck model. Now, as I explained in the last tutorial, uh, when dealing with collision boxes and dummy helpers, you need to get everything right there. Once you've got it to the stage where you're happy with it, everything's grouped correctly and it's right dummy helper, you've got your collision boxes sorted and your user defined options set, you're then ready to export your model. And sometimes you might need to do this twice to ensure the model exports correctly. If you click the general export button first, you get this window up. And obviously, you need to name your model truck PMG. Ensure it's set to export as PMG there. Make sure it's going to export to ETS and GTS. And you also need to define where your game's base file is. That's there, so sometimes it might need to read from for textures or something like that. You can also lock your PMG. Generally speaking, I don't, because if you lock your PMG, you export it, and you find that there's something wrong with the model, you have a hell of a job reopening it to, to edit it and make changes to it. Obviously, once you, you've got to a stage where you're proficient with Z model, you've got everything sorted, your model works fine, then no problem, go ahead and lock it. Once you've got those set, we simply click export. Obviously it's asking if I want to replace the one I've got there. Yes. And that is now successfully exported. But you have more options if you click the little down arrow next to the export button. And you can say multiple export. Similar to the last window, it asks you what sort of file uh, format it is, whether you want PMG, whatever, the extension set there, where the truck is going to be exported to, obviously you need to export it into your own truck's folder. And again, ensure ETS GTS is shown under version, that the base is defined, 
uh, here is the uh, model we're going to be exporting which is ticked it needs to be ticked there these options here generally speaking are set as default and you don't need to worry about them again you have the option of locking the file and once you're happy with that we just click export and that's fine that's been exported now you have created the PMGs PMDs and PMCs needed by the game to make your model work and that's basically how you import and export obviously if you have any questions if something's not working right please feel free to post a comment in the forum and we'll try, try all, we, all we can to help you but that's about that for that one see you in the next one